Violent scenes in two of the most popular summer movies, Gremlins and Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, provoked the new rating. Complaints from parents that some scenes were simply too intense for children persuaded the motion picture industry to come up with PG-13, a warning to be attached to some new films released after July 1st. The president of the Motion Picture Association, Jack Valetti, reluctantly bowed to public pressure. I'm opposed to any, I was opposed to any change in the rating system. I think it's, it's a fragile system and the insertion of more categories is not needed. I thought the PG itself was a sufficient warning, but so many of my peers in the business have taken an opposite view that I decided to lead this movement rather than to follow it. Robert Selig, the president of the California Association of Theater Owners, welcomed the new rating. I think it is an improvement because at least it puts more of the burden responsibility on the parent for whom the code and rating system was originally intended and still is. Still, the new rating is only a guideline. It simply suggests some material may be inappropriate for younger children, but it does not restrict their entry into a PG-13 film. It's not restrictive because there's no way really to enforce it when you think about it. Uh, these youngsters in that age don't have a ID card, they don't have a driver's license, uh, so it's purely an attempt to call special attention to parents and caution that this material may be too intense. For this reason, industry observers say the new rating has no meaning unless parents use it to determine what their kids will see. Sandy Kenyon, CNN, Hollywood.